Hey. Free stuff. Dollar stuff. Just this side? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Take a look. Thank you. I grab that. out and the guy nobody at a, at a shop has any interest unless they're in mint and that's the condition I found it. <laughs> it's alright. Little library. It's just kind of cool in the salt. I had a guy here that's into video games and stuff. Yeah. And he was like just looking at the back of me he's like oh crazy look at the back of these. <laughs> I'm like you're gonna put the back of these on display? You show like credit cards. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But Tron the movie. Tron, yeah. Cool for sure. Very nostalgic. You guys like moving out or something, or? No, I just like I'm just curing myself of being a hoarder. <laughs> It's always a good thing then. There, I mean, there was one thing that got sold. I'm like, you sold that when I was gone? <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, this is just me. Don't listen. I'm glad it happened when I wasn't here. Right. Take this car hurt hat though. Yeah, right? The dog trainer? Oh. Yeah. Don't have a dog? <laughs> Any kids? Yes. <laughs> Any kids? <laughs> A pumpkin? I think I'm all set. I'm gonna take these two. Awesome. Just the hat and the jacket. Awesome. Two bucks. Awesome, man. Thank Thanks you. Take it easy. Good luck getting rid of everything. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> all right, guys. I ended up stopping by a Goodwill as well. Picked up these two pairs of shoes, both Nikes. These are the Nike Free 5.0 trainers. Kind of cool camo color, men's size 13. I uh, paid $15 for these, so kind of expensive. Kind of on the higher end, but it's okay. And then I also picked up these here, the uh, Nike Zoom Air the glove. Um, very unique flight shoes with the laces on the inside. Uh, very unique shoes for sure. These were also $15. Uh, I think these are actually going for like over a hundred, which would be great if it does. And then the freeze, I think maybe I can get like 40 to 50 on these as well. 
Air Max 270s, 10 bucks. Rip there. <coughs> These are Donovan Mitchell. Big rip. Putting these back. Right, guys i'm back at home now as you guys saw i only picked up a few things uh i went to that one garage sale um that was the only one i went to and then i stopped by a goodwill i only went to that one garage sale because it was actually um i saw an ad on facebook i think it was or craigslist where pretty much everything at the sale was only a dollar and they had a bunch of free stuff too i didn't pick up as much stuff as i thought i would i was hoping that um i saw in the ad that there was a Floby, and I picked up something similar to a Floby before at Goodwill and sold it for like $150 or something like that. But the Floby also can go for pretty high. But when I got there, I did not find it there, unfortunately. Uh, they had a lot of stuff that probably already got picked over yesterday or the day before. I only picked up two things though. I'm gonna lay everything out and show you guys what I picked up today. All right guys, so at that garage sale, I picked up these two items. The first one was this Carhartt uh, hat. It's just like a beanie hat. Again, both of these were a dollar. The second one was this CF Moto like motorcycle jacket. I honestly don't know much about motorcycle jackets. I don't know if this was a bad buy or something, but um, it was only a dollar. So I was like, okay, I'll just buy it. Hopefully I can make my dollar back because this thing is big, but it is summertime. So people are probably not wearing these jackets because this seems pretty warm. So maybe I'll try to hold it until maybe like the fall time. People will probably start riding out um, to get their last rides in before the winter. But the thing is that it does have the pads too, like the shoulder pads as well as the elbow pads. Again, I don't know anything about motorcycle jackets. I don't have a motorcycle myself. This is a men's size 2XL, but the guy said, as you probably heard in the video, it fits like an XL. Two bucks for these two items? I don't think I can go wrong with that. We'll see, we'll figure it out. All right, and the last two items I picked up were at the Goodwill, um, both Nikes. Got these white ones and then this camo one here. So I did a little bit more research on these. These are the Nike uh, Zoom Air, the glove. So this is based off of Gary Payton, actually. Um, that was his nickname, was the glove. And yeah, they're pretty cool shoes, actually. Uh, it's got the zipper with the laces on the inside here. Uh, these are a men's size 13. So I think this should be a pretty good size. Pretty nice, nothing too bad on the bottom seems like it's still in pretty good shape they look pretty legit to me so yeah i picked them up for 15 dollars and i think some comps are kind of all over the place to be honest some of them sold for like 35 40 dollars but then some other ones sold for 100 dollars to 150 dollars so 
it's hard to say exactly what comps I can go off of. I'll probably list it on the higher end anyways. Uh, but yeah, 15 bucks. Hopefully I can make like 100 bucks on that. Second pair are these Nike Free 5.0 Trails, I think they're... I think it's Trails? Trail or Trainer? I honestly don't know. They look to be in really good shape too. I just thought the camo color was pretty cool. Plus there was no issues on the insoles. It seemed like they were in pretty good shape. Again, paid $15 for these as well. I think we're probably looking at like maybe 40 bucks, 35, 40 dollars for the freeze, and then maybe a hundred, hundred and hundred twenty-five, hundred fifty. I don't really know. I'll probably list them high and see if anybody sends me any offers on these. Been total of thirty dollars at that goodwill, and hopefully you can make like hundred fifty to two hundred dollars back.